Hello and welcome to this video where I'll show you how to deploy a code to a Linux server using AWS Code Deploy. So in this demonstration, the first thing we're going to need is a key pair for our Linux servers so that it can communicate with the three servers that we will spin up. To do this, we need to go into EC2 and if we go into key pairs. So we'll click on create, give it a name and we can save those locally as well. So next we'll go back to the Amazon console and we'll search for code deploy. I've got it in my recently visited services, so we'll click on code deploy. Then we'll click on get started now. So we'll do a sample deployment and we'll step through that. So the first options are a blue green deployment or an in place deployment. Uh, we're going to do an in place deployment. Uh, blue green means that essentially once you've got your app ready for deployment, new instances will be spun up, your app will be deployed and your old instances will then be terminated. An in place deployment essentially means that your application will be deployed on your existing instances and they'll be taken offline while it's being updated. So we're going to choose Amazon Linux and we're going for an instance type of T1 Micro. Uh, we have to select our key pair. Now we use tags. Uh, these are used to identify the servers for deployment groups. So essentially, if you have, say, a group of web servers or a group of application servers, you can tag them so that that particular group will receive that particular deployment. So we'll just tag them as name and we'll call it production. So each instance, and there's three instances will be spun up, will have a tag of production on them. So we'll just click on launch instances. This can take about seven or eight minutes um, for CloudFormation to create these instances for you. Obviously, this is just for demonstration purposes. And if you are installing an application in production or in test, you would be selecting your own Amazon instances. So now that's completed, we can move on and look at the actual deployment of the application itself. So we'll give the application a name of production web. Click next. Now we select a revision. So an application revision is an archive file containing the source content, such as source code, web pages, executable files, and script, along with an application specification file. This is an app spec file. So app spec files help code deploy map the source files in your revision to their destinations, and they also run scripts at various stages of the deployment. There is a sample bundle, so we'll have a look in that to see what you're actually deploying and what an app spec file looks like. So you'll see the app spec file is actually open and you'll see where it maps the files. So it's copying an index to www.h forward slash HTML. And then we have the hook section where we see that it's installing a dependency, which is actually a web service and then how then it starts the server. So on the left hand side of the screen, you'll see the scripts that is contained in the package and also the single file that we're deploying index.html. So that's just a good example of our application revision. So we'll click next. Now we get to deployment groups. So this is where we can group our instances together. So the deployment group is essentially just a, a set of individual EC2 instances that code deploy revisions applications to. And earlier we tagged our VMs. We all gave them the tag of production. So we know that we are deploying, we are selecting production and it searches and it's found three instances which we created. So we'll just click next. So we're going to create a new service role. Essentially what the service role does, it allows code deploy to work with EC2. Now we get a choice of deployment configuration. So we can do one server at a time. We can do half of the instances and then we can deploy to all the instances at once. So I think for this one, we'll just select to deploy to all instances at once. So now we're ready to deploy our application. Please pay attention to the, the application name. We needed an underscore in between production and web. 
So you see under instances on the right hand side of the web page that is starting the installation and we can click to view all instances. We can see that it's now been successful. So we can take one of the instances, we'll copy the URL, the clipboard, and there you see our application has been deployed. Thank you for watching this video.